Scientists recognized a long time ago that standard systems of units had to be adopted if measurements were to be useful. If every scientist had a different set of units, complete chaos would result. Unfortunately, different standards were adopted in different parts of the world. The two major systems are the English system used in the United States and the metric system used by most of the rest of the world. However, most scientists in all countries have for many years used the metric system. In 1960, an international agreement set up a system of units called International System or the SI system. This system is based on the metric system and units derived from the metric system. The metric system is important because of its simplicity and ease of use. All metric units are based on multiple of 10, so therefore you can convert between units very easily. In the metric system, we have certain base units that correspond to different types of measurements. For example, length or distance has a base unit of meter, and volume has a base unit of liter, and mass has a base unit of grams. If you take a prefix plus a base unit, you get a different unit in the metric system. For example, centi plus meter equals centimeter. Reference table D has selected units of measurement. In the first column, we have the symbol for the unit. In the second column, we have the name of the unit. And in the third column, we have the quantity or the type of measurement the unit measures. For reference table C, we have selected prefixes of the metric system. In the first column, we have the factor. The second column, we have the prefix. And in the third column, we have the symbol for the prefix. The factor in the first column represents the number of base units equal to that particular prefix. For example, 10 to the third base units equals 1 kilo. 10 to the minus 1 base units equals 1 deci. 10 to the minus 2 base units equals 1 centi, and so on. If we take a look at 1 centimeter then, 1 centimeter is 10 to the minus 2 meters, or 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. We're going to use reference table C for some simple metric conversions. For example, convert 3.5 kilograms to milligrams. When looking at reference table C, we're going to look at the exponent for the prefix kilo, and then look at the exponent for the prefix milli. The exponent for kilo is 3, and the exponent for milli is minus 3. The difference between 3 and minus 3 is 6. This is going to tell me the number of places to move my decimal point in my conversion. Now, we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit in this conversion. So the number part of the measurement needs to go from a smaller number to a larger number. So if you're moving down reference table C from a large unit to a small unit, you move the decimal point to the right to make the conversion. If we want to convert from a small unit to a large unit, for example, convert 94 nanometers to micrometers, we are still going to look at reference table C for the exponent of the given and the find. The exponent for nano is 10 to the minus 9, and the exponent for micro is 10 to the minus 6. The difference between minus 9 and minus 6 is 3. This will tell me the number of spaces to move my decimal point uh, when making the conversion. So if you're moving up the table from nano to micro, you need your number to go from a larger number to a smaller number. 
So we're going to move the decimal point to the left.